thank you yashwendra for the wonderful introduction so the topic that i am going to cover today is cyber security as a system so cyber security security system is nothing but point products point security products working together as a system all together so if you see the organizations today because of the cyber threats are getting more and more complex they are moving from a point solution that work into isolation into a products that works together and share threat intelligence with each other there is where cyber security as a systems comes into the picture which i'll be covering in my later slides so what are we going to cover in this presentation is we are going to have a look at what is the force that is driving to move an organization from the products working as silos into a cyber security system that is products working together we are also going to have a look at how cyber threats that is attackers work as a system we are going to introduce you to sophos synchronous security wherein will help you to understand how sophos helps to connect different products together on a single console and we'll wrap up the sessions with industry accreditations making uh, highlighting the sophos achievement so far in the industry today i am going to give an insight of the survey that we had commissioned last year so three two of the three organizations fell victim to a cyber attack in last year now this is more than 67% of an organizations and most of the respondent agreed to a fact that they were not able to stop the attacks that was getting into their network and onto their endpoint what's more is 91% of the organizations were running an up to date cyber security at the time of the attack so this is really very scary where 91% of an organization although they were running with the industry's best security solutions in their network the attackers managed to get into their defenses and these organizations accepted the fact that they were running the best of the breed of antivirus solution on their endpoints as well but it infrastructure is not only about endpoint it is about making different products work together and there is where we talk about cyber security as a system one of the most interesting survey that we received the responses that we received was more towards different incidents working together so on being asked about what is what was a target attack for the organization 53% fell victim to a phishing emails 41% had a data breach into their networks 35% of the organizations uh, had a malicious code and a software exploit 30% of the organizations were hit by ransomware and 21% of the organizations suffered credential theft in an attack there is more than one element involved that is the reason if you see all of these adds up to more than 100% so just to give an example it is something wherein a phishing email carrying a malicious code taking advantage of an software exploit to plant a ransomware right a single attack as we have seen involve more than three element that is the four element to launch an attack and the other concern that was raised was 26% of an it team spent their time managing it security right and that 26% of our time is more than a day in a week and if you see the graph india spends 32% of their time just in managing the it security japan being at the least of less than 19% so before understanding cyber security as a system let us have a look at why do we need cyber security system at the first place going with a standard dictionary definition a system is nothing but small objects working together to create something really very big right and cyber threats today also works as a system what do cyber attackers do they do an initial attack so they send a phishing email which has a malicious url into it the malicious url connects its back to a command and control center now they, this has been followed by second attack where there is a credential threat there could be a privilege escalation or there could be a malicious executables culminating it to the ultimate goal that is a third stage of an attack where the attackers try to steal the data they launch a ransomware attack or could be as good as bringing the services of any of the server down so what what do we see here is cyber threats or the attackers are working together as a system wherein they involve different you know attack parameters together to launch a successful attack talking about our infrastructure it is also a system wherein you know we have different components like mobile phones windows running computers 
Mac running computers, you have servers, you have you have uh, switches, you have routers, you have access points, you have modems, you have internet, you have cables, and all of these are interconnected to each other to make it work as a system to derive the end results. And then there is a software that runs on each one of them. So now, when we have seen that cyber security, uh, the, the cyber attacks are, is, are working as a system, uh, our infrastructure, our data centers are working as a, as a system, it is very important for us to have a defense which also works as a system. And there is where SOFOS come into the picture with SOFOS synchronized security. So this synchronized security is nothing but a cybersecurity system that really transforms the way to protect your business from any type of threats, attacks, zero day malwares, and providing you defense in depth. So as we understand, you know, what is synchronized security and how does it help? Let us start with understanding what are the three basic elements of synchronized security. The first one is the breadth of the protection. So SOFOS provides a complete breadth of a protection. So in case if you need to, to, to protect your organization from attacks, you need to ensure that every small stops and gaps should be protected from any of the attacks that you face. So SOFOS has a complete breadth of the solutions. It starts from an endpoint which has an industry's best rated anti-malware solution, industry's top rated exploit prevention. It has a managed detection response solution, and it is also topped up with the industry's best endpoint detection and response. It has a server protection, which protects your server from any types of known, unknown, and zero-day threats. It has a firewall which sits on your perimeter, protecting your assets from any of the external or internal attack. Now, this includes, now this includes an intrusion prevention system, application control, flexible VPN options, reporting, zero-day threats as well. It has a wireless solution, which is a secured Wi-Fi point. It has got an encryption to protect the data from any of the attacks, no matter wherever the data resides. The data could be onto your hard drive, it could be onto the removable media, or it could be on the cloud as well. The email solution, which uh, probably protects your organization from any of the threats could be a phishing email, could be a malicious URL through emails, or could be a spam. A mobile solution which protects your mobile phones and the data that is stored on the mobile phone. So even if the mobile get lost, the, the data could be wiped away remotely. The web solution which prevents the user from accessing any of the unauthorized sites as well as applications. And all of the solutions we are talking about right from the endpoint to the firewall can be managed through a single pane of glass, which is SOFOS Central. The second element of synchronized security is the product integration. So whatever products that we have discussed in the last slide, right from encryption to mobile, to email, to web application filtering, to firewall, everything share information with each other. And the information they share is health information, security information, and threat information. And this is done via a security heartbeat. So what happens is, um, so what happens here is, you know, the moment the products get the information about the intelligence of the individual products, they create policies dynamically. And what happens when they create a uh, uh, policy dynamically is they start responding to a threat automatically without any human intervention. So two of the base advantages of these products are number one is zero touch incident response. Now, if you see the information that the products receive, they create policies dynamically, number one. Number two is, they once the threat is eliminated, they restore the configurations back to the normal state. And this is done without any inter human intervention. And it is far, far faster than any human could ever do. And the second one is the new insights. So now when you have a single console taking care of all the products together, you have a single event management console as well. So you get new insight faster than any other product can provide. And the third element of synchronous security is management efficiency. So when we talk about management efficiency, there are three core aspects that we talk about. That is a single management console. So since all the products can be controlled, can be managed, and can be configured through a single management console, you get everything. You only have to log into a single screen. So it does not matter from which location you log in or from what device you log in. You know, you can just log in from any place and you can control the, all the security products into your organization. Then we talk about zero servers. Now, since this product is working on the cloud, you don't need to invest into a servers altogether. The process or the resources that is required to set up a server comes down to zero. And the third one is a single source of throat. That is, you know, 
now since you can control all the products together you the correlation of the events become easier and you can literally find out who got caught and who caught it within fraction of seconds so just to make it easier to understand we'll just have we we'll just go through one of the use cases of synchronous security what we call it as a zero touch threat isolation and clean up so what you can see on the screen is you have an endpoint on the left hand side of your screen and you have a sophos firewall on the right hand side of a screen what happens once a malware is detected on an endpoint the endpoint informs the firewall through a security heartbeat if you see now two different products are talking to each other once the firewall gets an information about an attack about an endpoint being compromised it isolates the device now it not only isolates the device from connecting to the network but also isolates the device from the local lan so that it can stop the lateral movement of the threats what happens once the device is isolated the clean up starts within the endpoint the threat plate gets cleaned and once the threat is cleaned the endpoint goes back to the firewall saying that i am now clean and firewall restores the access of an endpoint back into the network and back to the internet as well so all this process from detecting a malware to isolating a device to cleaning up the endpoint to restoring an access happens automatically within fraction of seconds without any human intervention so what is the output is the time it used to take before this has dropped on from 3 to 3 3.3 hours to just 8 seconds and that too without any human any human being logging into a console and rectifying it all together so this is uh, the dashboard of how the central looks like if you see all the alerts and everything is been available on a single console on the left hand side you will see all the sophos products endpoint server mobile encryption wireless firewall as well as the fish threat which can be managed and be configured from a single pane of glass on the top you can see the alerts so this alerts are the alerts from different the uh, point products that we correlate together and we display it on the dashboard so what sophos is doing is we are we are into an evolution phase of a synchronized security so if we talk about the user for us it does not matter wherever the user is he could be on premises he could be working from home or he could be into any geographical location it does not matter what applications he is using it could be an home grown application it could be a saas application it could be an application which is hosted onto a cloud it does not matter what devices the user is carrying he could be carrying a laptop it could be a server it could be a mobile phone you know and it does not matter where the resources are hosted the resources could be hosted on premises could be hosted on any of the virtual platform like vmware could be hosted on any of the public cloud probably an amazon or could be a google or could be a aws we secure everything so irrespective of wherever data lies whatever application see organization is using whatever devices you are using and wherever it is hosted we are completely agnostic and we provide security for everything no matter wherever the user the application the instances or the devices are so when we talk about having the data hosted anywhere you know the first questions that comes to the mind is does sophos support cloud applications or not so we are cloud ready we provide hybrid uh, cloud ready platform as well so sophos firewall can be an on premises solution as an hardware could be hosted in any of the public cloud like azure or aws uh, we can provide server uh, security for the servers hosted on premises or on the virtual platform or on the cloud platform we also have a cloud optics which can help you to give the complete posture of the applications you have hosted on the cloud it will help you to give the posture management it will help you to give the um, uh, compliance as well and everything as i said can be managed to a single sophos central platform so the resources hosted on premises resources hosted on the virtual platform or the resources hosted on the cloud can all be managed through a, a single console that is a sophos central when you talk about so many products integration of so many products protecting so many products the first questions that comes is uh, is sophos solution uh, validated by a third party uh, labs or not so i would not speak much on that the screen itself would uh, clear all the doubts so sophos xg that is a firewall has been a leaders has been into leaders quadrant uh, we also have been recommended by nss labs 
Uh, the endpoint as well is in the leaders quadrant from more than a decade. Uh, the foresters declare SOFOS as a leader in endpoint security. Uh, the, we have NSS recommendation for providing higher security effectiveness as well. We have third party validations. We have uh, happy customers who have uh, seen a greater ROI and greater uh, protections after using a SOFOS as compared to a competition product. So that's all from me. Thank you.